Well, hello again. We are going on with the Mongolian game, and just to recap, I conquered uh, the three city states that were next to me because uh, it would rise and fall if you don't conquer city states, the AI will do it. I think Shaka is going to take Antananarivo pretty soon. Uh, I really want to find out where Korea is because if we let them play alone, you see, they already have 60 science per turn, I have 15. Um, Lautaro has 30, yeah. So no one is reaching even half of the science production that Korea is, is getting. And that will be a problem. Um, the good thing for us is that I think Seonon, she doesn't build a lot of units. So even if she has a lot of science, it will take her a while for her to... Uh, it will take a while for her to, to use that for advanced troops. But I have no idea where she is. And that's a problem because I will want to attack her. And um, we have six cities, which is fine, because most of the AIs have like four cities. I mean, yeah, she has four cities and everybody else has four cities as well. <coughs> ah, sorry, I just sneezed. Okay, um, let's check Korea. Oh, Korea has a bunch of cities. One, two, three. Oh, she conquered Jerusalem. One, two, three, four, five, plus a capital. That's six. So she already has six. That's a problem. How about Shaka? Because they don't like each other. Oh yeah, they do like each other. Um, yeah, she likes everybody. That's a problem as well. Yeah, Shaka has four. Okay, so Korea as usual doing really great. I want to boost um, sailing. That's why I want a city next to the sea also to take some of this land before England takes it all. Um, and I will make another city eventually, maybe up here. I will get eight cities before I attack a civilization. Usually on domination games you go for an early rush against your closest neighbor, but I don't have any close neighbors. As you can see, London is pretty far uh, from from where I spawned, which is here. Okay, so and there is a lot of jungle there, so there were uh, there was no choice uh, for an early war against England. Um, I'm thinking about not conquering Granada because it's a military city state. It will give me more more production for um, military units, which is going to come useful. And I'm I will build a bunch of encampments in this game. So, and uh, we have uh, oh yeah, great profit. So we we got a religion, guys. Yeah, yeah, that was what I mentioned at the end of the previous video. And and we want to get it. So we're going to go here and, and get a religion. Now that's that's funny because who who has got some religion? Someone, the Ahmed player. Yeah, so here's the thing. Some leaders simply don't go for great profits. So it looks like this these three guys from, from Rise and Fall do not go for early religions. So I wonder which guys from Rise and Fall go for religion. I'm guessing Chandragupta. Hmm. Yeah, in my previous game, Chandragupta was there and he got a religion. And uh, I'm guessing Georgia, of course. And uh, I think... Uh, okay, no, I, I don't know who else. But Georgia and, and and Chandragupta with India, they definitely go for early religions. But these guys, Sulmapuch in Korea, are clearly not going for it. Um, Victoria got the Stonehenge really late, actually. Because she's also not, uh, she also doesn't prioritize religions. So that was interesting. Anyway, uh, let's get a religion in my holy city of Kandy. Because I conquered them after they got their holy site. So that's the only good thing about religious city states, if you're not going for a religious victory, that um, you can conquer them early and just get a free district basically. Let's repair this monument and let's choose a religion. So, uh, I'm going to go with Zoroastrianism again. I don't know. I usually try to go with Zoroastrianism in order to get that, that achievement on Zanzibar. Just in case Zanzibar is in the game. But yeah, in this game, if Zanzibar is there, I will probably just conquer it. So, let's, let's uh, fool around a little bit. Let's get the, um, I don't know, Turtleism. What is this? This looks like a swan. This looks like a butterfly. This looks like sea. Uh, this is snake. Lion. Elephant. Bull. Crab. 
these are all real okay so I'm going to go with uh, this one and I'm going to name my religion big trunk okay so that's very mature of me you can tell that I'm a grown-up because of that and uh, my religion is going to have um, what is this plus one amenity with two specialty districts this could come handy because I will have a lot of war weariness in a domination game 1% production blah 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 no that that's like if you have like six citizens it's going to be 6% production which isn't really great mm -hmm. I'm not going to be building a lot of shrines and temples I'm not used to founding a religion when I'm not going for religious victory so I don't really know what to do here um, purchase campus and theater square bu district buildings with faith this could be useful or just this, just this to deal with war weariness. This, I will go with this one, yeah. And uh, we have uh, some building. Uh, is there one that gives us production? I think there was there was a building that gives you production. I think someone already took it. Yeah, someone already took it. Well, that that sucks. This one gives me another amenity. Anyway, I will not have a lot of holy site districts, so the building is probably not so important anyway. Plus two gold for each city following the religion, that's not too bad. Holy side or theater square. No, I will not have many of those. No. Uh huh. Plus one gold for every four followers could be interesting. Plus two gold for each city. Which one is going to be better? I'm not so sure. This one would need eight followers in a city to be as good as this one. So initially this one is better, but later in the game this one is better. Mm. I guess initially this gold is more important. Plus one side for every five followers. Come again. Mm -hmm. Cheaper missionaries and apostles. Religious spread is twenty five percent stronger. City so start with this religion. Found by player was okay. No. Mm, I think I'm going to go with the plus two gold for each city because early on this is going to be relevant when I start uh, spreading my religion like okay yeah big trunk is a true path of the salvation okay I could have picked a funnier name I think if I knew that this was going to be the text you know okay whatever um so what did we get oh this okay this is not going to last because Antenarivo is going down for sure mm -hmm. right, you go here I need to explore the land a little bit I need to find Korea that's for for sure um okay right, the Mapuche know the other fella but the, sh the Sulu don't so the other fella is not close to the Zulu Mm. Man, I'm, I'm concerned that Korea is going to be very far and then it's going to be a pain to conquer it because they will have uh, units much more advanced than mine is the anyway Wine iron uh-huh that's fine where is it where is it here yeah so I already have one iron too bad it wasn't here, it would have been a very cool mine. Um, anyway, still better than nothing. We have one iron. So if I build uh, chariots, I can upgrade them to knights with that one iron. Or I can produce knights if I have encampments, which is also good. I cannot really get yeah, missionaries or anything. 
Um, okay, that's fine. Astrology. To the shrine over there? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, in the meantime, I guess we're going to need more builders. Uh, we can place a commercial hub right here. So I will want to chop that stuff. Yeah. Let's go and do that. Um, are we going to conquer anything uh, right now? Hmm. Probably not. I could I could sell a city here actually. I get incense and enough food. I could expand quite a lot peacefully actually. Okay, so this fella is I don't know, coming here I guess. I think I already sent most of my units around to explore. Okay, so Shaq already has walls, which was bound to happen. London doesn't yet. But I will not get to London before they, they have walls, so I'm not going to rush that. Um, I think there is no point in rushing that when I have so much room for peaceful expansion, even if I want to go domination. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Also, she likes me, so, you know. Can I do this? Yeah. Um, do you want another 30 turns here? Probably not. Uh, it's going to take forever until I attack the Mapuche, but... Uh, minor resource, so I already did it. Not yet. Let's do it. Don't reinvent the wheel. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, this is fine. I got a new recap. And I only need 7 more points for a heroic age. I have 25 turns to do it. That should be should be very doable. I am going to need sailing, but I want to boost it first. Uh, what what would I get now? I want to get apprenticeship, of course. So horseback riding will happen. Masonry will eventually happen. I just don't need walls yet because I don't have any close enemies. Um, water mill, yeah, I love water mills. They're very good. Okay, so that guy is already going there. I guess I need to sell one archery candy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go next turn. I'm probably going to use this guy to chop a shrine here and then I will build a commercial hub over there. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of empty land. That's, that's so weird. Yeah, there is a lot of empty land everywhere. It's like the game really wants me to expand peacefully. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, hmm, I don't know, man. It's weird. I could I could get to twelve cities peacefully here. I didn't even need to sell Ulaanbaatar there, really. Your delegation is most welcome. Your twenty-five gold are most welcome. That's for sure. Why is this guy still here? Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory. Mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Do I want the settler production? I'm going to say yes for now. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yep. And then. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Naval tradition. What are you going to do here? Oh shoot! I I made a mistake. Yeah, I had to put the um, first envoy counts as two. Oh well, that was a mistake. In order to get mysticism and do another revolution quickly. Military training. I want to boost it. I really do. What else do we need? Feudalism. Feudalism will take forever. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to need theater squares eventually. Yeah, to get this this governor thing. So, yeah, yeah, the second campus is coming. Uh, do I want more uh, better builders or do I want this? I think I want better builders. Okay, so uh, give me a second. She's going to be reassigned to Ulaanbaatar. Yeah, and this one is going to be assigned to Candy, and Candy is obviously going to. Oh, yeah, water mill is needed, so we're going to spend a few turns doing that. That way, we can give time to Liang to be assigned here, and so our builder will have more charges. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of empty land between me and everybody. All right then. Uh, I think I'm going to go north. Where the hell is Korea? Yeah, your delegation is most welcome. Now tell about the Great Library. Great Library is a lot better now than it used to be. It used to be rubbish, but now it's a lot better. Ulaanbaatar doesn't have any food to grow. And I can't really help. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that for now until I get the sailing stuff. Um... <laughs> We can take a look around there. Weird. Um, if I want to sell here, which seems to be the case, I want to build a settler over there. Now, where is the production for this city? This is a hill. Yeah, that's a hill which is three tiles away, so it's gonna take a while. This one is also three tiles away, so this city wouldn't have production for quite some time. Well, that's a problem. I want to get this instance one, two, three. Okay, it's in range of Brussels. One, two, three. Okay, I can get the instance from Brussels eventually. So I can I can settle over here to get the iron and this mine immediately. The iron very close as well. Yeah. So I'm going to say city here. Yep. Alright then. Okay, let's cross the river. Um this guy can promote I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all good. I think this is all good. Let's have a sip of tea. I like drinking tea when I'm playing, especially if. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, 
So that building goes inside the encampment. It's a replacement for the stable, I think. Um, okay, so let's get masonry just because we have it already boosted. And then we are probably going to go apprenticeship, but we want to boost apprenticeship as well. Yeah, this is super weird. I have a lot of empty land all around me. Like, if I start here, like, all of this land is obviously mine. But then, to the south, England is very far, so I have a lot of land as well. And then, you know, even if we hadn't conquered these three city-states, I would still have a lot of land here, uh, far enough from the Zulu to expand peacefully. So... It's, it's kind of weird. I can put it here, I think. No, one, two, three. Okay, no. One, two, three. I, I'm really annoyed that I cannot put the city here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no. I cannot do it. That's a shame. That would be a good spot. Um. Okay. I really need to meet the last guy. Oh, Netherlands. The Mapuche has announced the Netherlands. So they're, they must be pretty close. Maybe they are going to war against them or something. And Shaka hasn't met in the Netherlands. So that's something to consider. Oh, I could get some food here. That should be useful in this city. Okay, and this guy can be coming back already. So eventually I will conquer what? Zulu first and England later. I think England is going to be first. I'm afraid England will fall. So, yeah. This guy can go here. I would really like to say hello to Netherlands. I have 20 turns. Okay, that's fine. It should be doable. Getting a heroic era very soon as we are expanding I don't need the encampments right now I will build them but I can wait a little bit okay so let's do this thing here confirm yeah boost the recorded history which is fine do this confirm placement so now I can send a tray route Probably from Karakoto. And um Milan Iron Mine. Man, too bad I cannot do it right now. Ooh, build a water mill, that's gonna happen. Alright, let's put a few turns in here. I will boost it obviously, but I can put a few turns there. Let's do the revolution right now. <coughs> so, water mill, yes. Yeah, let's get the builder. Mm -hmm. uh, library. Library is going to give me another point, so let's do it. Another point here, I mean, towards my heroic age. Okay, she's so happy that I'm sending envoys to Granada. Okay, so that is not going to be there. It's going to be here. I want a coastal city. Or here, actually. I could, I could use a swamp while well, this marsh. Um, one, two, three. Okay. This one has a lot of production, but very little food. This one has better food short term. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. this hill, yeah, and so is this one, so we have some production here, initially, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, yeah, not too bad, we are going to sell there, here, city, okay, so you, my friend, are going here. 
All right, all right. It's a shame, I should be conquering cities, not building them. It's an order to meet you, exchange information or capitals, sure. Okay, so you are behind everybody. And where the hell is Korea? They must be up to the north. Okay, so I met everybody, that's three points. I only need four more in 19 turns, that should be done. Okay, um, so it looks like Korea is going to be far. I think I'm going to go for England first. Uh, I will settle this city. Oh, I didn't send a delegation. I will try to I do it. To Okay, so this is fine. Are we going to build more settlers or more build? Uh, we are going to build a lot of builders, I think. I'm going to go with that. Okay, so she's establishing candy, good for her. Mm -hmm, this guy can totally get a builder. So, do we want this? Yes, we do. We want the governor title. Title. Mm -hmm. We're going to send an envoy there, but not yet. Okay, then. Let's do that. Okay, so I don't, I don't really care about this land, do I? Mm -hmm. Okay, is this Korea? Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Why are we friendly? Same government. Okay. Um... Okay, so Korea is really far from me. That's that's going to be hard. I have a very bad feeling about that. And so, should I go Zulu first or England first? England seems to be the obvious choice. I could totally sell here, actually. Okay, so we boosted mathematics because we have three different districts. That's good. You, my friend, are going to get a builder. We're going to use our policy for faster builders. Didn't she expand at all? No, she didn't expand at all. She's not expanding. At least not as fast as the AI usually does on Diri. Okay, so this guy is going to come back over here. Get ready for a settler that is going to come from... I don't know. I don't know who's going to build the next settler, honestly. Mm -hmm. Is she at war with someone? No. And because of her situation, she must be around here. She only met the Mapuche in Korea. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, plus the capital of six cities. And she conquers Stockholm. <laughs> ah, sorry. She has conquered Stockholm. So that's another city state that fell. But I'm the, the biggest um, city state conqueror in the game. Let's chop the water mill. Yeah. to check things out over here and over there we need to prepare the invasion of England and we have barbarians there that's some easy money okay you can come here I guess take a look around can I get open borders from you no you you denounced me so no 
she thinks I'm a warmonger, which is correct actually. Um, what's the deal? You're one mongering, and I'm ignoring science according to her. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Early game on Diddy, you're always going to be behind in science. That, that, that is bound to happen. Especially if you be lying, and I am definitely be lying. Joined war against Sion Dog. Uh, this is tempting, but the problem is, I think Wilhelmina will lose this war. Hmm. That is quite a lot of money at this point in the game. Can I get more than that? No. Um, I'm going to say yes to this. I like the six gold per turn at this point in the game. Okay. Boom. There you go. Riding for or commercial hub? That's a big question here. Uh, let's go shrine because I want to expand my religion a little bit. Every time I expand it, I, I get uh, I get money. So okay. So what do we have here? Okay, England is doing really bad. I think I'm going to just destroy them. Yeah, I'm not going to expand peacefully beyond eight cities. I'm just going to destroy them and that's it. Okay, so Lautaro and Victoria have declared war on her. Which is interesting because Wilhelmina also wants to declare war on her. I could lose this and get the campus thing. That's going to give me like four science points, which at this time is like a twenty percent increase. So not not bad at all. Yeah, let's go here. I, it's gonna. It usually takes me forever to build six farms because I always have better stuff to do with my builders. Mm. Speaking of builders, I could absolutely get a builder here. Yeah, totally works. And we're getting another guy. Uh, this one, you know, I think later in the game she has a promotion here. You already see this with 9 Telekin plus 2 loyalty. And I think if you're expanding uh, very crazy, this, this um, if you're conquering everything, this uh, promotion here can be really useful. So I'm going to get her. And uh, for now, uh, we're going to go here, right? Yeah. Let's go to Granada for now. Yeah. And I can make the Alcazar improvement if I'm suzerain. What is what is that? Uh, plus two culture, occupied units visit plus four different strengths. Yeah, this is offensive stuff. In civilization usually you don't want defensive stuff for war, you want offensive stuff. So that is something to consider. Let's let's get a farm in here. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so we're getting a good image of what's going on in here. Mm -hmm. London is going to f be the first one to fall, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look around here. And we are going here. Oh, hello Lisbon. How about that? This one is still alive. Send the tray route. Well, that's that's almost tempting, actually. Um. Yeah, I need to open way though. 
I need to find all of the roads that need there, but yeah, eventually, why not? I could send this guy right now, I mean, it's going to be a while until I get encampments, so I could send this guy here. Yeah. Plus four gold right now will come really handy. Um, let's do this, yeah. Okay, so let's go there. I can declare friendship with her. Oh, this freaking quality rem almost kills me. Well, that was very annoying. Not to mention unexpected. Good thing they only have one one range. Okay. Okay, so I know all of the terrain now. I uh, can take a look. Oh, I have open borders. Okay. I forgot about that. That's interesting. Okay. So these guys are going to go like around here, I guess. And uh, what do I need? Uh, I need battering rams because London is going to have walls very soon. And I need chariots. So we're going to start building all of that stuff very soon. Chariots and battering rams after this library, I guess. I only need two more points, so I need like one Eureka, which I could do like building three mines, for example. And then uh, the library is going to give me one point. Or, or actually, yeah, founding a city on the coast is also going to give me one point. Yeah. Antananarivo has been defeated. Yeah, that was bound to happen. So, if I want to take this spot from the Zulu, I need to hurry up. Target Shaka. Okay, give me a second. So this is about this one. It's going to it's going to have full loyalty soon. Uh, how many turns do we have? Thirty turns. How far am I from it? I'm I'm tempted to actually go for it. Um, because my units are not that far. I have this guy here. I have uh, this guy. Yeah, he's probably going to have. Swordsman, I guess. But Antananivo doesn't have walls. I have a few units. This guy is going to take how, how much time? 12 turns. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Okay, let me think about this. Liberate Antananarivo. Uh 30 turns. Members gain plus one gold per turn for each of their envoys. And uh, 3200 gold, which these guys are probably not going to participate. Yeah, this guy doesn't hate, he's already in a war. Uh, who else can participate? Korea, who's already in a war as well, and England is too far, so it's not relevant. If Korea participated, that would be awesome. But she doesn't hate Shaka, so it's probably not going to happen. So this is this could be all for me actually thirty two hundred gold. Target trade road to city states gain plus two gold per turn if we fail, which isn't so bad. Let's go for it. I'm going for it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going for the emergency on Antananarivo, and we're going to see that on the next video. I'll see you guys later.